the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Lord, we hear that there will be sounds of mourning. We hear that there will be sounds of, of lack, economic meltdown and all of that but in the name of jesus i create my reality the same way there was egypt and goshen i stand by the power of the holy spirit i decree and declare by the power that raised christ from the dead don't be too big to speak even god spoke listen listen to me when you get up in the morning train yourself to stop this complaining and these lamentations you get up in the morning and you're already angry oh this day again you check your text messages you check your the news in nigeria and they say just to let you know that <laughs> you know what is going on naira has gone down this one has gone down and you watch and say just to let you know and somebody just calls you and said look just to let you know i lost my job you get up under that kind of climate the spirit of depression exactly what is waiting for but for someone you lay your hands on your head and say in the name of jesus i have the power to choose meaning i can reject and anything that does not line up with the word of god i reject it can i tell you this when there was famine in samaria there were two people who the famine did not at affect one was the king the other was the prophet elisha did not look like he was a hungry person moving around no he came to comfort two women who were eating their children you first have to enjoy salvation to be a savior are we together now you can't help somebody who is suffering when you are like them So that god will sort your life so that you can now become a blessing to many when they are saying oh there's no rice there's no this the market food is gone all of a sudden they see a kingdom ambassador you are distributing food as if you are holding a charm on your hand and people say come oh i more than the food what is happening to you and you tell them i've been exalted there is something he did to me make up your mind that you are going to speak the word of god make up your mind don't be silent believe me you get up in the morning father thank you for this day i decree and declare i am blessed you are on a journey don't just wait you already know that there are arrows that fly by day and in our world now there are arrows that walk by day they don't even fly there are wicked people they are not just holding arrows they are the arrows themselves i know a bit about presidential or priority envoys when 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 a priority individual is about to pass a road within a reasonable vicinity around the distance there is there is an intelligent system of of gauging the safety of that place are they not ministering spirits listen don't feel bad that okay something happened your loved one was kidnapped i want you to grow spiritually make up your mind lord if it will crash i won't enter but if i enter it won't crash yes sir yes sir yes sir can i tell you if jesus kept quiet over that boat he would have been surprised what will happen it's a fish that would have swallowed him like jonah and kept him at the base of it jesus did not just stand and say don't worry it's all right i'm here he said peace 
be still when you see storms arising your children just come it looks like they are sick you are hearing an evil report from the place of work that they are going to downsize people because it's 2022 when all that noise is around you hush them peace be still peace be still peace be still peace be still in the name of jesus marvelous light peace be still listen listen to me there are many of you who are saying apostle god has told me so many things but how will the help come how will i be able to do the things i'm doing january can become the same as last year's own if you keep quiet just because a prophetic word is before you does not mean anything will change you have to engage it with understanding hallelujah when god gave this word i took it as a personal word for myself first flogged it out with destiny before coming out here light light lord this generational poverty that will not let my family go we want to serve you but this thing is keeping us distracting us and not giving us room to serve you you want to pray you just think of money you want to fast you are thinking of money lord end this grant me rest and you begin to pray and speak i don't know what to do but start by speaking it is in speaking direction comes hallelujah i came here to charge you we are going to pray can i tell you this there is more than sufficient grace my dear people let me admit to you truly i know many of you have heard many prophetic words about 2022 don't think those prophetic words are a lie most of them are true however let me show you something that i have taught you here that the prophecy of scripture sustains a unique ability to veto and redefine the believer's reality are we together now yes when you keep quiet you will be a victim most of the men and women of god who speak within the boundary of scripture i'm not just endorsing everybody but i'm just saying there are people who are communicating the counsel of god and they are not lying some of those people came from the secret place and they are telling you this and that and that you don't just hear and say oh so what do we do and wait for it to come and happen no if i tell you rain is coming what do you do you check whether your window is open you close it if you must be outside you get an umbrella it's unwise to know rain is coming and the rain still beats you what the the the, the, the privileged information was wasted can I tell you this? Like never before, one of the things I know Satan wants to do is to disgrace believers and make it look like we have been believing a lie. I'm telling you this. I can tell you this as a man of God. Satan wants to see that believers are weary. Innocent pastors in ministry, no results, nothing happening. Sincere believers who love the Lord, you start a walk and it looks like you are struggling. Nothing is happening. As a mother, as a family person, when you have three or four children come to meet you with school fees, Pastor, you have not paid your school fees. And you stand there and almost feel stupid for serving the Lord. How about mysterious illnesses that just eat up finances of families? We're going to take a few minutes to pray this thing into our lives. And please hear me, beloved. Do not be in a hurry to just run around. I want you to stay and pray. This year, from a human standpoint, I know the things I've seen this year comes with a lot of challenges peculiar challenges i can tell you this as a man of god i have seen it but the bible says listen carefully the bible says a thousand shall fall by thy side 
do you know what it means for 1,000 people to fall by your side and only you standing and 10,000 by your right side he said but none shall hurt you you shall stand and behold the reward of the wicked the first prayer tonight is to exempt yourself and then as a responsible ambassador of the kingdom to begin to contribute your quota of intercession and spiritual investment over the territory to say lord because i am here we decree and we declare are you ready to pray please rise up on your feet first thank the lord for the word you have heard thank him for this charge that you have heard thank him for this charge that you have heard hallelujah hallelujah now very quickly we're going to pray two prayer points and then i'll just carry out a prophetic instruction that god gave me the lord gave me an instruction that i should rebuke the spirit of death so i want to pay attention because there is a spirit that actually kills men truly there is and one of the things that the devil wants to use to scare and threaten people with is death that enemy you see that this is why god anointed us that in addition to your personal spiritual growth you come under that prophetic climate that is able to speak we are not just speaking empty words there is a throne that backs what we are saying hallelujah none of you will die i'm saying it again none of you under the sound of my voice will die and anyone in partnership with demon spirits anyone in partnership to bring you down to the grave and discourage many people in the name of jesus christ this night the cross of the lord falls upon their heads are you now ready to pray i'd like you to begin to declare that this year is my year of marvelous light name every aspect of your life ministry marriage children business go ahead and declare by the power of the holy spirit it is my year of marvelous light in the name of jesus supernatural insight into the mysteries of the kingdom understanding of the ways of god the administration of the life and the power of god within my heart and within my body direction 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 even by the spirit go ahead and pray this is the year for supernatural empowerment i am not weak strengthened by the power of the holy ghost decree and declare it is not a negative year for me i prophesy by the power of god light shine light shine light shine, light shine. command the light to shine in every area of your life light shine over my spiritual life this is a year for high level spiritual ascendance pray over your health and your body in the name of jesus my body is preserved preserved by the power of the holy ghost kept by the power of god kept by the power of god no demon no devil no cause no enchantment will prevail over my body in the name of jesus pray pray for your family cover them with this prophetic word as for me and my house we will not only serve the lord 
we will serve in safety we will serve in peace in the name of jesus in jesus name i pray now listen to me you are going to mention every month from january to december give it an instruction by the word of god you're going to command it to shine take away every negative thing from your january from your february go ahead pray january i speak to you you are the months that the lord has made february the months that the lord has made march the month that the lord has made april may june i decree and declare disaster be taken from my months shame be taken out of my months death be taken out of my months declare retrogression be taken out of my months dishonor be taken out of my months by the power of the holy ghost from january till december my life and my days will bring glory to the name of the lord prophesy as i travel in the air i decree and declare safety and preservation as i drive on land safety and preservation by the sea safety and preservation in my coming out in my going in safety and preservation hallelujah hallelujah please don't be tired we're praying now hear me the season of marvelous light also means an unveiling of what is hidden are you ready to declare that everything in my life that god has put within me that should find expression to bring glory to the name of the lord and to be a blessing to me that has been covered hitherto this year you are unveiled go ahead and pray every gift every anointing every unction locked up within your spirit every business idea every potential locked up within your spirit find visibility let the light reveal let the light reveal let the light reveal let the light reveal in the name of jesus hallelujah 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 I want you to pray you're going to mention as much as you can the names of your loved ones and all who are within your care and declare light father expose anything that wants to keep these people down wants to keep them limited in the name of jesus let light come let it expose and let it lift them go ahead open your mouth pray for your parents pray for your children mention them by name You 
you are brooding over every darkness you are causing light to shine from darkness you are brooding over every darkness you are causing light to shine from darkness holy ghost is brooding over every darkness you are causing Please pray this year. My children will not give me headache. They will not give me trouble. Let there be light in my family. Let there be light over my parents. Let there be light over my loved ones. As for me and my house. hallelujah please listen to me listen to me apologize i know we've stretched a few minutes but please listen to me everybody is going to pray over the works of your hands don't say it does not matter the only reason why israel goes to egypt is hunger every time there is hunger can i tell you this listen it is important one of the reasons why we pray that the supplies of heaven find expression in our lives so that it can grant us the stability to not compromise can i tell you the truth many believers under pressure will do things they will not believe they will do it's easy to point fingers at people and say oh this one this politician this one but we have to pray even jacob in genesis 42 from verse 1 and 2 Jacob said, why do you look at yourselves like this? I have heard that there is corn in Egypt. He said, get down thither and buy for us so that we will live and not die. Even a prophet, when he is hungry, he will send his future to Egypt. You've heard me say it. I will never be the man of God who will only focus on the spiritual development of god's people and not care about their well-being christianity is, is a responsible faith practice that attempts or that that covers the love of god and his intention is to bring holistic holistic life and joy to us one of the major areas where god's people right now as i speak not something that will happen is in this area of finance and economy the bible says the borrower is slave to the lender that means if i want to make you a slave i don't have to make you a slave by making you a slave i only make you a slave by making you a borrower are we together there are many believers who are in terrible financial situations i've had the honor and the privilege to pray with a number of people especially in recent times people who love god sincerely but the bills will not let them rest can you pray that one prayer before i speak over your life listen you are going to decree and declare that in the name of jesus this is the season where you will see the manifestation of god's grace even in the area of supplies pray for yourself pray for your ministry pray for your business please do not entertain lack and want it will affect your convictions Pray. open the heavens oh god grant wisdom grant relationships supernatural ideas strange manifestations of favor bring your people to their wealthy place bring your people to their heaven The slavery of lack and want and poverty we curse you by the God of heaven. This is a season of light. Your people will experience supplies, supernatural supplies.
Alléluia. 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 Let me encourage you, therefore, listen to me. When the flood, when the flood was going to come, God called one man called Noah and said, Noah, flood is going to come upon the earth and is going to kill everything, everything that has life. Therefore, build an ark of three stories of gopher wood and he gave him specific dimensions. And when he built the ark, it was never God's desire to save only eight people. There is nowhere written in the Bible where god said it is only eight people i wanted to save the stubbornness of the fallen man is what landed them in that flood the ark could be able to take as many people the animals obeyed but men disobeyed the animals did not even wait to experiment with the rain from the bush they started coming two by two seven by seven into the ark but men they began to laugh and to mock them and the bible says god closed that door can i tell you this i don't mean to be arrogant but one of the reasons why god sent us to this city is because of these times we're not the only ones doing what we are doing it's a collective effort of the body of christ but we have a contribution and a role to play this is i'm saying this because many people's salvation is at the mercy of what they hear this is the year that you will make up your mind that you're not going to come to the house of god alone you are not first for yourself and then to make up your mind that these my children who represent my future but are very very lazy and careless when it has to do with their spiritual growth I must begin to invest in their spiritual growth or your spouse who goes to the house of god and then leaves you behind or you leave your spouse behind to say no 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 it is as for me and my house remember the weakness of ignorance is where satan will attack from as for me i made up my mind this year that through all our arms of expression the school of ministry our external ministrations the sunday services and the media ministry and every 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 arm of expression we will give our best to see that within the jurisdiction of the grace and the assignment committed that we bring light first to you and then by expansion as a contribution to the body of christ as for me i've made up my mind and renewed my covenant with god that for me I will give my best it is up to you to make up your mind can I tell you this minimize some of this time of going around begging people shadow boxing and stay with God adopt the wisdom of Mary Mary was yes Martha was running around trying to get things done and nothing happened because in this kingdom we rise by light it takes more than desire some of the teachings that god has put in my heart for me in fact it's, it's as if it's as if i should keep us here and sit us down and and just begin to teach indefinitely make up your mind to listen thank god for the power of the internet for those who are unable to directly be here you don't have an excuse from anywhere in the world you can connect and listen not just once listen again you can go back now and go and listen again to this message don't assume you understand and let me encourage pastors here please encourage your members to to listen this is not the year to ah preach preach up listen listen with the intention of growth are we together make up your mind make up your mind whatever sacrifice you will make participate you can be here and yet not be here be here this year with your heart and your spirit and don't be distracted get something to write or get your device or whatever make up your mind when you go back home and god grants you the grace you can take a day or two 
with your loved ones if possible discuss the things that have been taught you will be surprised how many people sit in church and don't get anything that is taught you ask them what what did god say they say i was blessed and they never never become an expression of the word hallelujah let's wrap up In the name that is above all names father we have begun this year with you as a global family of faith and your people have come I have shared with them that which you put in my spirit Lord I pray the anointing and the grace that makes for walking in the experience of marvelous light may that grace come upon you now may that grace come upon you now may that grace come upon you now in the mighty name of jesus christ shame and reproach that has lingered around your life and destiny in this year 2022 i prophesy to you by the power that raised christ from the dead let it leave you like smoke before the wind i pray for your spiritual life every attack on your passion for god your passion for prayer your passion for the word your passion for the house of god in the name of jesus i decree and declare rise above that limitation now hear me for anyone here who men have mocked you and said where is your god where is the evidence of your passion and your commitment this year may your results answer that question may your results answer that question in the name of jesus christ hear me jesus was speaking and said that the kingdom is like a woman who lost a coin and when she lost the coin the first thing she did was to get a candle and she lit that candle and started sweeping through that room when she swept that room she found the coin there are many things that are not in your life but are still within range there is a particular kind of light you need to put on and start sweeping that room i decree and declare the mystery and the revelation that controls restoration for what you have lost may that light come to you right now hallelujah in acts chapter 12 the bible says as peter was bound bound hand in chain something happened to him there was a light that came into the prison that was the first thing that happened it was not just that the chains were were loosed light came into the prison are we together now and when light came there was liberty he walked out and he was free can i tell you this every prison financial spiritual whatever prison you found yourself in the lights that must shine in that prison and swing that door open may that light come to you now I decree and declare let there be a supernatural marking of the spirit upon you every manifestation of death I command it far from your habitation hear me and any devil of darkness on a campaign to kidnap you or kidnap any of your loved ones I stand by the God of my covenant may the earth open and swallow them for your sake hear me my Bible says now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace always and by all means therefore I decree and declare 2022 find peace find peace find peace all your troublers i command them to leave you in peace leave you in peace spiritually physically financially i speak peace to your destiny
in the name of jesus Amen. hear me every month has what is supposed to deliver in the name of jesus you will never carry over any prophetic blessing Hello. the blessing for january must come in january the blessing for february must come in february the blessing for march must come in march the blessing for april must come in april the blessing for may must come in may the blessing for june must come in june july must come in july august must come in august september must come in september october must come in october november must come in november december must come in december hear me the only thing permitted to happen in your life this year is speed not delay in the mighty name of jesus christ finally let me pray we pray for abuja the fct we pray for nigeria as our nation and africa we understand that we're in the middle of very turbulent times even as a nation can we stand in agreement and speak this is the federal capital territory we owe a responsibility of priesthood to speak over the nation he said give him no rest until he establishes jerusalem as a praise he calls us the light i didn't have the time i would have taught you that the whole goal of having light is so that you will eventually become the light not it does not just stop at the realm of having light you become the light stretch your hands prophetically to any direction and declare one minute over abuja declare over nigeria where are the priests and the watchmen decree and declare over this place we stretch our hands as rods of authority abuja hear the word of the lord in the name of jesus we declare peace we declare progress we declare safety and security of lives and property we pray for the government we pray for the house of assembly the senate we pray for all those who play different roles in this nation we declare wisdom upon them even at these turbulent times are you praying over this nation we pray for every region declare over nigeria we pray over the east the west we pray over the north in the name of jesus the south preserve your people oh god let the covenant of david that covenant of mercy speak across the six geopolitical zones in this nation we extend our prayer to the continent of africa in the name that is above all names we decree and declare preserve your elect preserve your people even in this season in the name of jesus christ now before i make the altar call let me just encourage you please listen to me this year i want to encourage you be very wise in the things you say whether physically or on social media make sure you are a christian don't go on social media and and plan fear and lamentations are we together dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny the face of development lord grant me 